Hi again, I've got another story from the Bible for you today. This is a really famous story. It's called Daniel in the Lion's Den. And it all starts way back, a long time ago, over 2,000 years ago, 2,500 years ago, and in the land of Babylon, which is Iraq today, there was a king called Darius. And he was a very important king. He ruled over lots of different lands. And he had all kinds of people working for him. And one of the top people working for him, in fact, the top person who was working for him, was a man called Daniel. And Daniel was a really wise person, and he was really honest, and he worked hard. And so Daniel became the most important person after the king. And he worked really hard. He did great things for the king, and the king trusted him completely. Now, there were a group of people who didn't really like Daniel. And those are the people who wanted to be, you know, in Daniel's place. They wanted to be the most important person after the king. And I think they wanted it because, well, if you were handling lots of money like that, you could take some of the money for yourself and you could become rich. And so they wanted to get rid of Daniel. So they came up with a plan. We'll have to find a way to get rid of him. And so they decided to be sneaky. And what they did then, they sneaked around. They watched him. They hid around corners and they followed him to find out if he really was as honest and as hardworking as he said he was. And they watched him and every day, three times a day, he would pray to God. And he would pray for, well, he would pray for the king. He would pray for the government in his land. He would pray for his own land of Israel and for what was going on then. And he would thank God for all that God was doing for him. And so they kept watching him and they couldn't find anything wrong with what Daniel was doing. They found that actually he was honest, really honest. He didn't steal anything from the king. Everything that he was supposed to give to the king, he gave to him. And not only that, he was really, really hard working. So they got together and said, what are we going to do? How are we going to find a way to get, get rid of this man? He's just, he's really good. And then one of them came up with an idea. What we've got to do is find something to do with his God. Because every day he prays three times to his God. And so that's his weakness. So they went to the king and uh, they said, Your Majesty, Your Majesty, we've, uh, we've been thinking how, how, how great you are. And Daria said, Oh, it's very kind of you, actually. Quite a good day today. It's, um, yeah, it's not feeling good. No, they said, We think you're really, really great. In fact, we think. You are actually not just a man. You're a god. And we think that you should have a new law. So if anybody prays to anyone except you, you should take them. In the next 30 days, you should take them and throw them into the lion's den. So Daddy said, oh, you really think I'm great. That sounds a great idea. So they made a law. And they made a law. And when they made that law, Darius signed it and... That was it then. It could not be changed. Now when Daniel heard what had happened, he knew that they tried to trick him and that they were going to try and catch him out by praying. And so he went home, as he always did, and well, he thought about what to do. He knew that if he prayed in the window, as he always did, then people would see him, they would report to the king, and because it was a law, he'd have to go into the lion's den, he would die. But you know, Daniel decided that actually... The most important thing for him was to pray to his God, just as he always did. He prayed just like he always did, with, at the windows. I mean, I think I would maybe have closed the windows, but he didn't. He didn't care who saw him, because he loved God. And God had been good to him, and he just wanted to pray and give thanks to God. And as Danny was praying, of course, sneaky, sneaky, these people were watching him, and so they went straight to the king. And they said, Your Majesty, do you remember you had this, you had this law? And, uh, and he said, Yes, I remember the law, but he's got to pray to me. That's, that's really great. And he said, Well, Daniel doesn't. He knew straight away. He knew that he'd been tricked. And Daniel was his friend. This was terrible. And so he went and he looked for a way. Is there a way that we can maybe get out of this law? But there wasn't. There wasn't. And so... Really sadly, the king, Darius, he had no choice. He gave the order and they went and came and got Daniel and they brought Daniel towards the lion's den and then they had a big stone over the top of it 
when they moved the stone and there was Daniel and just as he was about to be thrown into the lion's den Daniel said to him Daniel may your God protect you may he keep you safe and then they pushed him in he went into the lion's den and these were not friendly lions these were well they were hungry and they were nasty and they put the lid back on the lion's den the stone back on there and they had a way of showing that nobody could move the stone they put a seal on it with wax and the king's seal was on there so if anybody moved the stone they would know who'd moved it and so they sealed it and Darius went back to the palace and you know when you're a king they would have all kinds of nice things you every day was like a party they would have all kinds of beautiful food lovely food and then they would have singers and dancers and people to tell jokes but Darius didn't want anybody to tell jokes he didn't feel like it, listening to singing or watching dancing or even eating nice food he went home and then he went to bed and when he went to bed he couldn't sleep and he tossed and turned and all he could think about was poor Daniel in the lion's den he didn't sleep and he couldn't wait for morning and when morning eventually came at first light Darius got dressed and he ran to the lion's den and he said to the men move the lid move the lid and they moved the lid and then Darius shouted oh, I wonder Daniel Daniel has your God saved you and he heard a voice from inside the lion's den good morning your majesty couldn't believe it he looked in there was Daniel how are you still alive Daniel he said well the Lord sent his angel who protected me because he knew I'd done nothing wrong against against him and he also knew that I'd done nothing wrong against you Darius gave orders quick quick get some ropes get a way of getting Daniel out of the lion's den and so they lowered down these ropes and Daniel got into them and they hauled him back up and he was safe and he didn't even have a scratch on him so Darius made a new law and this law said I want everybody to know all through all the countries in my empire I want everybody to know that there's no God like Daniel's God because Daniel's God is a God who saves and you know at this time of year it's the time when we really remember that because it's this time of year that first Easter when the Lord Jesus, God's Son, came and gave his life for us, to save us. So, over this Easter, remember, our God is a God who saves. Now we've got a song, and this song has got some actions. So maybe, maybe you could video yourself doing the actions, or get someone to video doing the actions, and you could, uh, you could post them on Facebook if you can, and uh, I'll tell you what I think of your actions. So the actions go like this. There was a man called Daniel, good old Daniel. He prayed to God three times a day, good old Daniel. The king's decree said, worship me, poor old Daniel. But Daniel would not bow the knee, good old Daniel. And the gates went, and the locks went, and the lions began to roar. And the lions began to roar. But they couldn't eat Daniel if they tried. Good old Daniel. Because the Lord was on his side. Good old Daniel. Let's do it with the guitar. Don't forget the action. There was a man called Daniel, good old Daniel. He prayed to God three times a day, good old Daniel. The king's decree said, worship me, poor old Daniel. But Daniel would not bow the knee, good old Daniel. And the gates went, and the locks went, and the lions began to and the lions began to But they couldn't eat Daniel if they tried Good old Daniel Because the Lord was on his side Good old Daniel Let's sing it again There was a man called Daniel Good old Daniel He prayed to God three times a day
to video yourselves doing that if you can and, and post it and I'll be able to see how well you do it. Let's pray and then we'll be finished for today. Father God, I thank you that you saved Daniel when he was really in danger. You were with him and you saved him. Lord, we thank you that you're a God who saves and we thank you, Lord, we know that because of the Lord Jesus and the way that he died in our place. At Easter, I pray, Lord, that all of us that East, this Easter time would think about you and all that you have done for us. Amen. Amen. God bless you, and I'll see you again soon.